A lot of people ask me how they can play on a Chinese server, but honestly, don't play it unless you are fine with possibly losing your account. Yeah, as the title said, my Chinese Miracle Nikki account got unbanned after 10 months. Finally! Now I have two Chinese accounts! Yay! <laughs> so why did I get banned in the first place? I broke all the rules, I hacked the game, and I got millions of diamonds. Ah fake news obviously. I'm going to tell you the real story but before I jump in I need to give some background about the Chinese server. The Chinese server is appealing because it is the longest running Love Nikki server having been around since 2015 so you'll be the first to play the newest and freshest events. But before you download I have to let you know one thing that might turn you off from playing here. People get locked out of their Miracle Nikki game. Miracle Nikki is a Tencent game which is based off China. China has an anti-addiction health regulation law that prevents kids under 12 years old from playing video games for more than an hour a day and kids over 12 years old from playing video games for more than two hours a day. To know how old you are, Tencent will ask for your Chinese ID. For now, a Chinese ID is not required to play Miracle Nikki, but in the long run, players at random will be asked to provide their Chinese ID for verification purposes. If you don't have a Chinese ID, you will be locked out of your Miracle Nikki game. Now, this doesn't happen to everyone since it's random as far as I know. I've heard of people who got hit with verification within a week. Feels bad, man. <laughs> wow, some never ever get it. In March 2019, I lost my Chinese Miracle Nikki account because of the verification. It was really devastating because I finished the Cloud Realm Hell event, which was something I was super proud of, and I had saved thousands of diamonds for the next Hell event. I was really bummed. I couldn't get back in, but eventually I was able to get back in and I'm going to teach you some methods you can use. The easiest way for foreigners is to just borrow a Chinese ID. There are Chinese kids who bypass the anti-addiction law by using their grandparents' ID. Imagine Tencent seeing an influx of old people playing their mobile games as kids are using their grandparents ID to play off hours. This is the easiest way to bypass it because all you need is a real name and ID. After that, the system will say something like this. Okay, so this is the Chinese version, the English version. Translated would be, uh, congratulations, the real information submitted was successfully authenticated and the account will match the corresponding health blah 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 the play is long back to game so uh, when i saw this this was the happiest moment of my life because i was verified and i was able to get back into my chinese account Woo obviously that was not my chinese id used i am american and i actually used my chinese brothers ID. so now tencent thinks i am a college boy playing america nikki <laughs> so yeah ask around to see if someone has an ID you can use, just make sure the person that you ask isn't a kid unless you don't mind being limited in your gameplay. It doesn't hurt for anyone to loan you their ID to play games, China is just using it to keep track of kids playing games. Like if an adult loans you their ID, nothing happens to them. Like ever since I borrowed my brother's ID, like he hasn't bother me or ask me about anything. If that doesn't work, you can maybe buy a Chinese ID. Oh my gosh, I'm sure this method is very much illegal, but if you've gotten like to level 69 or something in your Miracle Nikki account just to be locked out, you may want to consider this. There are millions of Chinese residents who will never use their ID on mobile games and can help you out. Maybe some red packets will convince them. <laughs> you didn't hear this from me. Number three, a third thing you can try is to VPN to another location. There has been several instances stating that using a VPN to another country works. Some people say changing it to the USA works, while others say changing it to Hong Kong worked. If you try this option, I suggest keep country hopping until you find one that works for you. Unfortunately, I do not have a recommendation for any good VPNs because all the VPNs I've ever used are kind of poo-poo. Number four, contact Tencent support to verify that you are a legit person from overseas. However, to do this, you need your passport as well as seven photos of yourself. I'd only do this as a last resort if the earlier methods doesn't work because it seems like such a hassle. 
Like over here, I took a scuffed as heck screenshot on how to do this. Overseas and Macau users cannot be certified how to do. But there's summoner. If you're a Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, or overseas user who needs real name authentication, um, you must provide seven pictures, a single half length photo, one original passport. Oh gosh, each of the original and original ID cards hold a passport. Wait, isn't that the same thing? Anyway. A miner is ready to provide nine photos. Wow! Yeah, this whole thing seems like such a hassle. Oh my gosh. So next step, you want to go to this website right here, kf.qq.com. This is going to be the support website. And once you're here, there's going to be a pop-up at the way bottom right here this blue button and if you click on that it's going to ask you to open wechat just open and you must have wechat downloaded to do this don't worry wechat's like super safe i use wechat every single day of my life and it's going to connect you to a representative and you can speak to them in english like they know english it's just that English may be their secondary language, so be super patient with them. I've always had good experience with Tencent customer support in the past, but please let me know in the comments below if you have tried this method and how it went. And number five, the final thing you can do is wait it out. The first Chinese account I got locked out in took me 10 months to get back. Sometimes the Chinese server will decide you are worthy and will lift your verification. Hey, at least I got it back. So if after all that you still want to play in the Chinese server, this is how you're going to do it. I am going to do it on my phone, which I will project here. Um, you are going to need QQ or WeChat first. Uh, QQ is my one over here. And there is a Chinese version and an English version. I've actually tried the international version. That is still a thing. There is some rumor going around saying the international QQ version is no more. That is not true. It still exists if you just type in QQ international and you can get it like just like this, but I don't prefer it because when I tried to do the QQ international, it actually brought me back to the original QQ version to um, make an account, which is so weird. So yeah, here is the QQ English version. Let's quickly skip this through. Enter QQ, okay. And it's going to tell you to enter your account and password. If you don't have one, there's a sign up button at the bottom and then country country what country am i from i am from uni united states and then just type in your phone number obviously not my phone number yeah then they are going to send you a text to your phone number and then they're gonna give you some like weird long qq id number and that is going to be your qq id Remember that because you are going to need that to log in. If not, then just use your phone number to log in. That's like the new thing right now. So yeah, you can make a QQ account or you can make a WeChat account. For WeChat, I also used my phone number to log in. Both QQ and WeChat are super safe. Like I've used QQ for over a decade and WeChat is sort of new, but I believe WeChat is right now the most popular chatting app in the world. Maybe not, but a lot of Chinese users use it. I've been using WeChat every single day for a couple of years and haven't had any issues with it. It's a reliable app. Like I've heard people saying these apps will get the Chinese government to spy on you. No, no, really? Don't be scared. That is so not true, by the way. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is WeChat has an English version. QQ has an English version. If you do not feel comfortable using the original Chinese version, then just go ahead and use the international version. Both of them exist. Both of them work. And then after you have either your QQ or your WeChat, you go back to your Safari and then you type in qjnn.qq.com and it's going to bring you to the Miracle Nikki site and this is going to be where you will download the ah game 
Dang it, auto rotate. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's going to bring you to this page that looks like this. The download button is at the way top and it's going to bring you to a downloading page. And then you are going to get an app that looks a little like this. And here is the loading screen for the Chinese server. Just download the stuff and just give it a second just log in and then i am going to sign in with qq which is my second button right here it's gonna bring me back to my qq which i am already logged in so i shouldn't need to type in any other info um it's spinning right now because it's logging me out of my QQ in my other devices. Like I'm logged in on QQ on my Android. They're not having that. You can only sign in on QQ on a single device. So now I have logged in with my QQ and just play and it's going to open up my Chinese server. Viv, yay. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, check out my hell event suit. So proud of this one. So in conclusion, I would only recommend playing on a Chinese server if you don't care that your account can possibly be locked. If you do care, I recommend playing on a different server just to be safe. There is no saying whether China will change in the future to loosen up their anti-addiction laws. Worst case scenario, the law gets even more strict and requires facial recognition to play the game. I actually can't see China doing that. Anyway, there are other options. You can play other servers if you're worried about this. The Vietnamese server is also very ahead in terms of events. Although the devs in VFG has sort of lost some credibility with the key players after shutting down a C server with no option to transfer wardrobe. But if you are looking for something like very free to play friendly, I recommend the Japanese server. Since there are no VIP in the Japanese server, you can do done 10 autocompletes without ever making a single purchase in game love it love it if you want to support elix love nikki global and love nikki indonesia are super fun and gets a ton of bro debuts all right that is all for me i hope this was helpful if you want to see more love nikki and miracle nikki stuff be sure to like comment and subscribe i will see you next time